Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and today I want to show you how to turn any logo into a 3D logo that you can animate and here's an ex a quick example of what we're going to be doing. So let's dive in. Uh, ideally you want to have an SVG file but uh, if you don't have one you can press it using the curve editor. you turn it into a 2d shape and also make sure that it's filled if it's not filled I change this from none or to back or front it doesn't matter or both are like that and then uh, to give it some thickness uh, so that it has that 3d feel you can scroll down find geometry and give it an extrusion uh, somewhere like that and then and to make it look even better you can give it a bit of depth at round off uh, the corners a bit and uh, this is where we're going to be a little bit more artistic and uh, to make everything look even far far better than now we have it here uh, let me also increase uh, the resolution here uh, so that it's not we don't see uh, these facets here it's going to increase this because this is a curve you can always change the shape at any uh, moment in time if you want to and this rounded bevel is too basic so we can switch the bevel from round and to profile so that we can create our own uh, profile we'll start uh, setting up a nice bevel design here for our logo to make it look even much better there are also a few presets here uh, if you want to use those let's uh, select supported loops and see and uh, if you want to get this detail in you have to increase uh, the resolution here and you can see how that looks I think this is much better than creating it also but uh, if you want to create your, your own you just have to go to uh, the default and then make any changes you want to the profile Actually, I'm going to stick with this one that we have made ourselves. And uh, now, all we have to do is uh, also just add in some text. So I'll just call this, I'll just add a shift A text. I'll call this uh, waters. I don't know. And uh, you can choose a, a, a nice font uh, to go with your logo. So I'll just. Uh, and uh, we can also give this. Uh, the same profile uh, but before that we have to extrude it as well and uh, give it a nice profile i'm just going to use the same i think it's called this uh cornice molding and uh, i'm just going to increase the resolution here make sure you give it a bevel depth then increase uh, the bevel resolution Now the rest is just working on the material, so let's add that. I'm just going to add, give this a metal feel and uh, reduce the roughness just a bit. And do the same thing for this. Just link this to have the same material uh, like so. And uh, add some enough roughness to, some grind map to the roughness. I'm just going to use object mapping for this. Let's work on the lighting and uh, set up the mood uh, just to see what we can get. So I'm just going to add a background. All that is left is uh, just adding in some animation and uh, you would have a nice uh, logo for yourself. 